Thank you, Cape Town. Thank you, fans. And thank you, Grand West, for this amazing event. That was pretty special. I'll now be announcing the prize-winning athletes from EFC Africa 25. The winner of knockout of the night is Bonet Bakuka. He knocked out his opponent one minute 52 seconds into the second round. And fight of the night is awarded to the lightweight clash between Iga Cabeza and Chad Hepburn. Now raise your hands if you'd like to ask any questions to athletes or myself. Yeah. Congratulations on taking the title. You spoke about um, going to Thailand to train your striking game. It seems like you went to Brazil to do some ground. Can you take us through um, your preparations on the ground? You're, you're just amazing tonight. Um, thank you very much, Molten. I didn't go to Thailand to train any skills. I just went there to get a little bit of a head start on my fitness and stuff. Um, I can thank Attila for my ground game. Like he put in a lot of effort for me and he helped, he's helped me a lot and that's why I've come this far with that. Kirian, question for you. Congratulations, champ. Thank you, thank you very much. You, you seem to be floundering in the first round. Can you take us through it? And uh, when I started the fight, I was started, I was start, I was start warming up in the cage, and as, as I jumped up, flipping, I twisted my ankle. It's swollen like a mother. <laughs> so, but uh, all credit to Opi. You know, he, this guy is very strong. Uh, I, I really underestimated how strong he was going to be, and uh, he held me good and uh, nice and tight in the clinch, and he got me down. And uh, but I managed to work from there. Thank you. Just to follow up on that, phrase, you, you said in the cage that, or in the hexagon that um, you didn't necessarily agree with the decision. You've had some time now to cool down. How, how are your thoughts now? It's not so much I didn't agree with the decision. I just believe he could have let it go on a bit longer. But at the end of the day, that's my view. If it was the other way around and he didn't got stopped, he probably might have the same view. Um, look, it's a fight. How it looks to the referee is how it looks. It's a stepping stone for me. I'm going to work back to this to, to another tile show, hopefully. Thank you. Hi, it's uh, Jess here from Pretty Tough. Um, my question is for Cairo, just in terms of the talk around uh, Francois Kabula with the, having a, a shot at the title next. Is that um, going to happen? Yeah, most definitely. You know, the guys on what a five-fight win streak, just beat the former champ. Looks really good. It's a great fight, and I think it's one that Dino would love to take. And then just uh, one more uh, around uh, possible title fights. For, for Gideon, um, Chris DuPont called out um, wanting, a, wanting a title shot. Is he next in line to, to face Gideon, or who are we looking at? Yeah, Chris is definitely right up there. You know, another good performance. It wasn't the best kind of result from a fight that we could get, but a win's a win for him. Um, and he was looking good and aggressive in the fight. And I guess we'll, we'll sit down with Gideon and his team and see when he wants to fight again next and, and decide on his next opponent. I've got a question for Don over here. Don, congratulations on a very hard uh, fight that went the distance. It seemed like you'd made a clear choice not to, not to stand with Leon and instead shoot. Could you take us through your thinking around that, that game plan and, and whether you felt that it worked for you? Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I felt my game plan worked for me. Um, I honestly, I honestly thought I had the fight won. Um, you know, Leon fought a hell of a fight, though. I mean, he came prepared. He's an awesome athlete. I've always said I've respected him as the most in the UFC. You know, he's, he's, but um, I, I, I have no idea how they gave four rounds to him. I think I got like nine takedowns in the round in the fight. Um, you know, it, it happens. I'm mean, gonna have to go back to the drawing board, watch the fight again. But um, yeah, I'm a bit upset about the decision. You know. To follow on to that, Cairo, um, it seems like there's an epic trilogy here. The, the first fight will, will never be forgotten. The second fight, so in some, again, some could say that there's unfinished business there. When do you see it? When do you see a trilogy happening? Yeah, you know, um, for a champion to lose his belt on a split decision, I think I personally think that fight was too close. So, um, you know, I think I'd be happy to see another rematch. Hopefully next time they can do half-half, half-standing, half ground. You know, get a bit, a bit of a mixture between the two. We'll see. Uh, just, sorry, Jess, just to finish off there, Leon, I, I think you just need, you just get to say something there. Everyone's cheering for a rematch, and, and there you are. How do you feel about the decision? <coughs> Look, I'm in the sport uh, just because I love fighting. I will have a rematch any day. It's cool. Just a, a, 
another question for you on the judging this evening. There were quite a few decisions made this evening where there was talk in the crowd about um, people not agreeing with decisions made. Um, with this being an away fight, were there new judges perhaps that were used or how did the judging work tonight? Yeah, there were um, different judges that compared to Johannesburg. These were Cape Town based judges. You know, I also didn't agree, agree with all of the decisions, but they did. And in the end, it's, it's the way it goes. You know, don't leave it to the judges if you can avoid it. Fronto, congratulations on your victory. Thank You've you. got now five straight wins. Can, can you see yourself not getting a title shot next? Yeah, I think um, I was working hard and uh, I was never in time to get a chance for title shot. I think now I train hard more to take that bet. It's my bet. Thank you. I've oh, just got a question for Bernardo. Bernardo, congratulations on your victory tonight. Thanks, sir. You, you've been through some hard times in the hexagon uh, just before. How, how, how badly did you need this win tonight, and, and how do you feel about it? First of all, I want to thank Jesus Christ for the protection and to thank everyone for EFC because they know yeah, why they did put the fight in Cape Town. Because the place here in Cape Town is the place that did make a return Kelvin Robinson. And I was very scared, I was on injury. I say, hey, I've got a big injury. I was fighting this fight and a big injury. I say, I'm going to stop the fight. And then I said, no, I am fighting in Cape Town. I'm going to make my best to win this fight because I've been training very hard for this fight. Yes. Uh, just a question for Don. Um, Don, you've said you, you're obviously not happy about the decision um, and you're clearly disappointed, but, but you're also not a, an athlete that um, sits and mopes around about things. What can we expect from you going forward? Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you always get bad judge, judge decisions. Um, you got to sort of take that, take that in your stride. Um, I mean, I, I know how hard I work. Um, I know a harder chain and, and it's, it's probably going to be a little bit of a uh, hard road back to the top, but um, you know, I'm prepared to do it, you know, I'm 22 years old, I'm not like, I'm not at the end of my career, I'm, um, I'm young, so I've still got plenty of time to, to accomplish everything I need to do. It's a bit disappointing, but you know, it happens. When can we expect to return to Cape Town? Sure, man. This uh, this crowd tonight was it was ridiculous. It was it was so awesome. The fans were so passionate. Uh, even at the weigh-in yesterday, and even at this you know this press conference now, such a great atmosphere. And we got so many talented Cape Town athletes. So I think we're going to be back here at least two times next year. We're hoping um, as early as June. All right. Thank you all for joining us. Cape Town, we love you. We'll see everyone back at the Coca-Cola Dome in Johannesburg on the 12th of December for EFC Africa 26. Good night. One victory each. Two epic battles. The third meeting will decide who is the most dangerous man on the continent. Two Goliaths are on a one-way collision course as the reigning heavyweight champion Andrew One Gear Van Sale once again takes on the former heavyweight champion Ruan Fangs Potts. Having met twice before and both holding a victory over each other, this will be the big finale to the heavyweight trilogy and will put to rest who is the greatest heavyweight on the African continent. Andrew Van Sale versus Ruan Potts, three. EFC Africa 26, Thursday, 12 December, Coca-Cola Dome, Johannesburg. Tickets and broadcast information at efcafrica.com.